I'm on a road trip from Stockholm to the far north of Sweden to see all kinds of weird and wonderful things along the way. Come on, let's see what I found today. Today I'm in the town of Gävle in Sweden and I'm gonna show you the world's biggest Christmas goat. It's really too bad I can't get closer to the goat. I want to show you how big it is. It's enormous, <laughs> humongous. It's a big ass goat. Putting up this goat has been a tradition since 1966. And since then it's burnt down 37 times. Even though the fire department is really close by. I'm not sure where the fire station is. Maybe uh, that direction, maybe? Uh, I'm just pointing in all directions. I have no idea. So it's almost a tradition that the goat is going to be burnt down. The first time it happened was in 1966 already, on New Year's Eve. But uh, it's also very illegal to do so. One of the five people who have been caught burning down the goat was a visitor from Cleveland, Ohio. He stated that he actually thought he was taking part of a Christmas tradition. Still, he was put in jail for 18 days and uh, then he fled to the US without paying the fine of 100,000 Swedish crowns. Bloody Americans coming here, burning down our stuff and not paying for it. In 2006, it was the goat's 40th anniversary. They tried to fireproof it with a special liquid and it still got burnt down. The goat hasn't just burnt down. It was stolen in 1973, it was hit by a car in 1976, and it was kicked to pieces in 1978. Then in 1992 it was burnt down twice, after they rebuilt it once. In 1999 it was burnt down hours after they put it up, and in 2011 they covered the goat with a coat of ice, and it still burnt down. So what's with the goat, you may ask? Well, Sweden actually has a long tradition of Christmas goats. You know Thor, the god of thunder in Old Norse mythology? Well, the goat actually represents one of the goats that drew his chariot across the sky. So we're keeping some pagan rituals still, even if no one knows about it. The goat place is pretty popular for taking selfies and photos. Obviously. <laughs> Oh look, everyone wants to enjoy the goat, even the dogs. I'm not sure why I'm filming the goat's butt, but uh, anyway, here you're getting a nice view of it. <laughs> Maybe you're into that. Next to the big goat, there's another smaller goat. I'm not really sure what the deal is with this one. This is also a pretty bloody big goat, look at it. Huge, but uh, not as big as the one in the background there. No, it's not a small goat, it's a big goat, it's just far away perspective. <laughs> These days the goat has a double fence protecting it and uh, guards and the CCTV surveillance and a canine unit patrolling the area. So it actually has survived 2017 to 2019. But um, it sure looks tempting, doesn't it? Let's see if it survives 2020. I should not have said that. It's gonna be caught on film now. If anything happens to it, people are gonna believe I did it. I did not. I'm gonna leave here now. I promise. Maybe. Well, that's about it from me and the world's largest Christmas goat. Pretty weird, isn't it? But uh, anyway, hope you had a good time. Like and subscribe, but most importantly, have a great day.